What's going on? What's up? What's up, you guys? Listen, wow. It's been a long ass time since I've been on this uh, platform. I honestly felt like I ain't been really on my own channel for uh, this whole year, just taking it back. But honestly, yeah, I had so much personal stuff going on and development that I needed a break from YouTube. Like, I just knew I couldn't really commit how I want to. But I'm definitely back. And um, as you see, I got a new intro and everything. And I hope y'all are doing well. Okay. So listen, so check this out. So until I get back into my group, because honestly, at this point, I don't know what the hell to talk about. I'm not even in, in a algorithm right now. Um, I'm going to just start doing podcast style videos, you know, eight to 12 minutes for the first month and then get back to doing what I was doing and seeing what you guys like and what you don't like. Okay. Now that's how we're going to do it. So baby, <laughs> I am literally, you guys, like three days late on this tea. Uh, well, yeah, three days late by the time y'all get it. But I had to get on here to talk about Elevin, um, Elevin, Elevator, uh, <laughs> Evelyn Lozada. I had to get on here to talk about that and her um, engagement being called off, okay, with LaVon Lewis from the show. Now, if you don't know who this couple is, let me get my picture pulled up. So they actually met on the um, Peacock reality series, Queen's Court, okay? And I kind of seen a couple episodes of the show, but I was like, mm, it really wasn't that interesting to me. And honestly, I was watching for Nivea because Tamar is extra and I'm not a big um, Evelyn fan like that. So we seen how they got their whole engagement on the show and um, we was like, okay, cool. So, you know, this is probably like her six, seven engagement. And she's been married, I would say, once to, um, and that only lasted less than a month. So, unfortunately, um, Evelyn does not have a really good track record, okay? She don't have a really good track record when it comes to her dating past history. So I was looking at this and I was just like, hmm, is this really going to work this time with her and this man? And unfortunately, I was correct. It did not work out between them. And I have all of the details to show here for y'all. OK, so let me go ahead and read um, part of this article and tell you guys what's actually going on. So. Everybody know that um, now, according to the general public, people really did like. Um, Evelyn and LaVon on the show They felt like that they was a cool couple They clicked on there And it was no surprise when they got Ended up getting engaged Now the breakup really comes Like I, We can kind of see this happening low key Because they kind of live far So LaVon lives In um, Atlanta and Evelyn Lives in Los Angeles So this kind of is already a big difference and they do have different backgrounds so she this woman is used to dating nba players nfl players um baseball players turn horrible management american stallion so this is not new to her now this guy is more of a you know just your average joe chill back dude so the interesting thing to me is that when they was when they actually announced that um, they broke up, it wasn't no surprise at all. Literally, I'm sorry, I wasn't. She actually gave a statement to US Weekly, okay, confirming their breakup. And um, in her own words, she said things just went too fast. Like six months later, we were engaged, and I just felt a little bit disconnect. Um, she said that. She ref she's thankful for the maturity of how both of them are handling this situation. And unfortunately, you know, for her, it just didn't really work out. I mean, they did just get engaged only after six months of meeting on the Queen's Court. But she said that she felt a disconnect. Now, if you guys haven't really watched Basketball Wives, um, this new series, this new season that's out, she talks about how she felt kind of disconnected with him and she doesn't know, like, it was more of unsurety on Evelyn's side. 
And granted, this woman has been through a lot, and so she probably knows, but I have a different opinion on that, which I will get into later. So following the report, she actually spoke out, Evelyn actually spoke out, um, and she went to social media to address what was reported out a few days ago, okay? And I'm actually gonna go ahead and share my screen here on Twitter and shout out to JT Reality Blog, okay? I always have some great content on Twitter. Um, I'll go ahead and share my screen here and let you guys hear what she had to say regarding that breakup. Let's get into it. It hit the airwaves that Levon and I, we um, called off our wedding. And um, it really, really warms my heart how invested all of you are in just me finding love and my happiness. Um, I will say that I have seen a couple of things and I just want to make this very, very clear. We have mutually called everything off. Nothing happened. He did not cheat on me. I didn't cheat on him. It was just distance and it was just, honestly, it was becoming difficult, but we still work together. We're still friends. I'm still going to support his business. Um, he still supports mine. And um, that's it. We're just really in a good, positive space. And um, I just wanted to share that with all of you before rumors. So, yeah, before rumors start swirling around what happened, what could have happened, we're good. We're really good friends. I'm always going to love and care for LaVon. Um, and that's just what it is. My family is and and. We're always going to be friends. We experience something. Um, unfortunately, it's public, but um, we're in a good, happy uh, uh, place. And um, I'm really, really glad that we met each other and that, um, yeah, like it, it doesn't end with just the relationship. Like, you know, we've created a bond that um, I'm honestly grateful for. So, um, Okay, so let me stop sharing my screen here. So you guys just heard what Evelyn had to say. They said there was a mutual understanding on a reason why they actually got a divorce. I'm not a divorce. Ooh, child. Look, it's late at night, y'all. I'm sorry. It's almost midnight here down here in Houston, Texas. <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying, um, she explained why they, they both agreed to call their engagement off. OK, and I honestly feel like that. Yeah, I, I I ain't really seen a connection between these two. I think that Evelyn has went through a lot in her past and all through with she I do not fuck with her. I feel like that she has went through a lot as far as, you know, these different divorces, some probably her well, different, you know, calls off engagements and some are probably her fault. Some aren't. OK, Um but I feel like that maybe she still has trauma that she needs to heal with. And I honestly feel like that Evelyn was, you know, Evelyn was an ex hoe. I mean, and it is what it is. This woman was an ex thought. And I feel like that all the men that she probably sleep with that we know or, you know, probably behind the scenes, it probably that karma is probably catching up to her because I think that she's at that time right now where. Your beauty, she's this woman is beautiful, like this woman is gorgeous, but this woman cannot never find anybody to really settle down with. And I think that she still has this 28 year old mindset, these high standards mixed with trauma. She's never gonna find anybody, I don't, unfortunately. And I don't know if she's probably just gonna be okay with it. she's gonna have to be okay with that because her standards are so high, you guys. And not saying that she should settle, but girl, you have been around the block a few times. So I don't know how long this is going to last, if I'm being honest. But, you know, I just feel like the whole situation is just a hot ass mess. I'm sorry for them um, that it did not work out. But girl, this is like the six or seven times something did not work out. So I don't know, Evelyn. I don't know. Like maybe sometimes you have to take a look inside within yourself. But it's funny because this woman been on I Am Fix My Life, and I'm pretty sure she been to anger management. But it just she didn't like him. She didn't want him. Well, hey, listen. If you don't want him, somebody will take him. Okay, he looks like a great guy. 
um, but probably not for her. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I would love to know your thoughts and opinions, guys. Thank you all so much for your patience and being with me here. Let me know what you think about this whole thing being called off. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, and let's go ahead and get that discussion going in the comment section. So just expect to see more videos uh, coming up soon. I'm taking a little break from panels right now, just focusing on myself because I want to kind of get my videos back in the flow, the workflow, the algorithm. So let's go ahead and get that discussion going, and uh, make sure you all hit subscribe, the notification bell, so you can be notified when I post more content and like the video. All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.